For more information on tutoring or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, please visit MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. So first up is alpha decay. What is an alpha particle? An alpha particle basically is just two protons and two neutrons. We've actually seen it before in Rutherford's gold foil experiment. If you haven't seen that video, I'd encourage you to watch it. It describes the how we discovered the atomic nucleus. Anyway, it's just two protons and two neutrons. And thus, um, it is represented like this with the little alpha, Greek alpha um, letter with the mass number of four and an atomic number of two. Right? Um, so basically, it's a helium nucleus because helium, if you look on the periodic table, has an atomic number of two and a mass number of four. And so it has two protons and two neutrons. That's the helium nucleus. However, this is not a helium atom. And there's an important difference between the two. Atom, the helium atom, has electrons. Helium nucleus does not. We're not thinking about the atom. Okay? So an alpha particle is just the helium nucleus, no electrons. Okay? Sometimes, though, it's represented like this, as a helium atom would be, which is, for some people, confusing because people think, oh, an alpha particle is a helium atom. It's not. It's a helium nucleus. There are no electrons. So I guess it might be a little bit more precise or accurate to to write it out like this, right, with the plus two, because of the two protons having that charge. But I don't really see that very often. I usually see the first two. But I'm going to use this one, just because I feel it makes the most sense. It's the easiest um, to use. At least that's just me. But if you see these other two, they should make sense to you. Okay. Now, the 4-2 with the helium without the plus charge written, it's you, the, the, the plus charge, really charge is not really mentioned much in nuclear reactions because the implication is at least charges due to, due to the uh, electrons not really um, written up here. And the reason why is because it's implied with nuclear reactions that you're talking about the nucleus, so outside electrons are not really um, considered here. Okay. Anyway, let's do an example with uh, or of alpha decay. So here we're going to start with uh, radium mass number of 226 and um, a, an atomic number of, of uh, 88. First thing we should do is calculate the number of neutrons based on this. If the mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, and Z, the atomic number, is equal to the number of protons, we can just take 226 minus 88 to get the number of neutrons. So if we do that, we'll get 138. 138 neutrons. So what would the daughter be? If this is the parent nucleus, what's the daughter going to be after the alpha particle is emitted? Well, we mentioned that we have to have the total A on the left equal the total A on the right, and the total Z on the left equaling the total Z on the right. So what would need to go here as the daughter? Well, let's just figure out the numbers first, right? If the total A has to equal 226, over here we already have 4. What do I need to add to 4 to get to 226? It would be 222. 222 plus 4 is 226. And I already have 2 down here for the atomic number, so 2. And I need it to be equal to 88, so I'll just put an 86 down here. Now, which element is this going to be? Well, if you look on the periodic table, 86, you'll find Rn. That's radon. So that's it for this, this problem. right? So this is the daughter that would that would uh, show up after this alpha particle is emitted. So let's think about what happens to the A, the Z, and the N. We can see here that the A dropped by 4 from 226 to 222. So it decreased by 4. What happened to the Z? Went from 88 to 86. Dropped by 2. What happened to the N? Well, we didn't show that, so let's show that here. What is the N here equal? If, the, if here, at the alpha particle, 4 minus 2, that's 2. 226 minus 80, 86 is, uh, or excuse me, 222 minus 86 is 136. Okay, so the number of neutrons went from 138 to 136, so it decreased by 2. So it makes sense that Z being the number of protons, N being the number of neutrons, each of them decreases by 2 because the alpha particle is 2 protons and 2 neutrons, and they're leaving the parent nucle nucleus to become the daughter. To, to result in the daughter. And of course, the mass number is made up of the, the z and the n, so it decreases by 4, because both of these decrease by 2 each. The general form, then, is often written like this. 
And maybe the word often is not the best word to use. It's not, I don't know how often I see it, but the general form can be written like this, where basically uh, if you start with some parent, the daughter will look like this, right? The mass number will decrease by four, the atomic number will decrease by two. Right? So that is the general form here. A little cloud around it. Okay. So there might be the question of when does alpha decay actually occur? Alpha decay is common among heavy unstable nuclei. Unstable, didn't have enough room there. Uh, heavy unstable nuclei. Basically, everything with an atomic number greater than 83, which is everything beyond bismuth, is radioactive and can undergo alpha decay. Right. So they're heavy and unstable. Basically, that means they have a bunch of whatever is contributing to the mass of that nucleus, right? So alpha decay occur occurs when a nucleus has too many protons and neutrons. That should make sense because protons and neutrons are are what make a nucleus or an atom heavy, right? So um, because they're the, the the massive particles within it. So when when you have something really really big, right? These things that have large atomic numbers and have lots of neutrons, lots of neutrons, lots of protons, they can undergo alpha decay to get rid of some of their protons and neutrons to become more stable. Okay, so that's pretty much alpha decay. Hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you, and happy studying.